Hello everyone. I've got my hair. I put my hair back to five. Um, good morning. It is time to stretch. And I apologize. I was a tad bit late. Um, I was trying to post something online and technology hates me. So uh, me trying to be proactive and do things instead of at the last minute ended up in me scrambling and then failing and I still have to get it done after this and um, that is really effing annoying. We're gonna forget about all that and we're gonna get stretching. See if anyone's joining me today. Today is very exciting. We're gonna stretch and then at 9.45 we'll be doing a half hour booty workout exciting. Do I have anyone joining me today? Yes, no, maybe. I know Ashley sometimes likes to show up, but she may be busy. Oh, well. So I am going to get this playlist started. Um, yeah, this playlist is very, uh, actually both playlists today are pretty R&B heavy, so hope you don't mind, because I don't. All right, stretch 527. You think I could get that done? or get that right one of these days on the first try. Haven't learned a thing. I'm like a character in one of those cheap recurring novels where the, the main character, have you read those like the, not Aaron Brock, but there's like, I don't know, it's like one for murder, two for blah, blah, blah. Anyway, like the character never gets smarter. And finally, I just, I was like, come on, humans grow. Most, most do. Most develop in advance. How come this character hasn't? All right. Well, without further ado, let's get this stretch place here. I'm going to adjust the camera one more time. Like so. And uh, here we go. With the music. Oh. Oh. Timer is still trying to get me to buy Memorial Day furniture. Not sure what they have to do with Memorial Day other than sales. All right, here we go. All right, start in three, two, one. Start with hands pulling down, tilting the head to the side, looking straight ahead. <sighs> so each stretch is going to be 30 seconds. And I'm going to really stretch my neck and shoulders out because they are sore. Ah. Alright, look down. Oh yes, yeah. so remember to keep pulling down with your arms reaching through those fingertips, driving them towards the ground. I like this stretch, this stretch series. Uh, so necessary too. Oh. In three seconds, we're gonna look up. Here we go. Keep pulling down with those arms. Take a little nap. Ooh. Why do I not stretch enough? It's like I just want to take a nap. All right, turn your head to the left or whatever side you had it tilted towards. Oh, keep pulling down those arms. I'm going to add a little side stretch, neck stretch in here. I think it's hard to overstretch something. I mean, you really got to work at it. I mean, if it's not, as long as it's not painful, you know, you're just stretching. Stretching's not bad. I'm trying to think extreme stretching. Uh, probably splits practice or something like that. Tilt your head to the other side. 
Keep those arms and fingertips pulling downward. It's sad when I can't remember what I did 60 seconds ago. Was my head tilted to this side or the other? All right, looking down. Ooh. Uh. Oh, I got 15 more seconds. Then we're going to tilt our head up. And then we'll look to the other side. Three, two, one. Oh, look up. Hmm. I really don't know what the shoulders to do. So, um, I don't know what I've been doing with my body this week. <laughs> um, some weeks it's just like my body is just like bleh. um you know it could be lady issues uh but like arch on my foot turn this way oh arch on my foot's uh feeling a little funky shoulders are feeling funky um i don't know so we're just gonna take our time and stretch it out and just really take it slow so every day, it's always a good idea to just sort of check in with your body. I like how I'm like turning myself to talk to you. <laughs> I just want to check in with your body. Is something different? Is something new? And think about, we're going to have our fingers locked overhead, keeping our shoulders down and back. Ooh. We're reaching up through the fingertips. So it's nice to say like, you know, is something different? Did you do something this week that might have caused this pain? Um, how bad is it? Is it something you can manage or is it like not good? Like you should see someone. Um, you know, and then it's always good to just sort of take a break, ice it, rest it, however you gotta do. Uh, let's go in front, wrap the shoulders down. You know, just um, take it easy. Don't prep force yourself. Learning your body, what you're capable of, what's what's something you can deal with, what's something you can't deal with, or you know, learning that is so vital to keeping yourself healthy and injury free. Just on the back, Ooh. For example, I usually can tell if I am getting allergies or if I'm getting like a full on cold. Um, I can tell when hmm, I can tell when I get uh, something blah 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 blah. Let's switch. So we're gonna do eagle. So one elbow over the other and then press together. So uh, yeah, when I get tight in my shoulders, I know it's time to do my ball rolling exercise, work it out. Of course, I haven't been doing it enough. <laughs> I need to do it today. I should follow my own advice. So I'm just pressing my arms together. I think this is like eagle arms. Right other side. Ooh. Doing a lot of arms and shoulders today. Um, yesterday's arm workout was pretty intense. I liked it. Was it yesterday? Wait, what day is it? I gotta put another dollar in the what day is it jar. I think I'm up to like a hundred dollars. All right. Now we're going to take our forearm, press our fingers back. You can see that. There we go. You can see that. Working that forearm. You're going to be grabbing a chair in a minute. We'll do a couple of, uh, Stretches in a seated, sitting in a chair position. So we'll take a little break to do that. I'm going to try to wake up. Other side. Let's 
So the forearms, with those forearms. If I were doing aerial right now, I would need a lot more forearm stretching because some days, you know, you're doing so much grip strength stuff, stuff you're just like, oh, my forearms, oh. All right, so in eight seconds, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go the other way. So we're gonna press our fingers towards our, towards our forearms, so like this. You can do this on the ground, you can do it against a wall. Um, today I'm going to be doing it standing just to switch things up. <sighs> so I guess you can dance a little bit or sway slowly. So, uh, in Santa Barbara, we are still in the clouds. What? <sighs> Can't believe we're like, what? Just a few days away from June. Oh my lord, I can't believe it. Um, so June bloom is the, is the model here. So basically the clouds roll in and sometimes they burn off at like 5 p.m. And sometimes they don't burn off at all. And so um, I haven't experienced it personally yet. This will be my first June bloom. Really excited, let me tell you. <laughs> all right, so now I'm going to cross one leg over. Oh, come on down for a hamstring stretch. A little different. Usually I'll put my foot like dorsiflex in front and lean down, or I'll be lying on my back. I might do that again later. But this time we're going to cross our legs over and just come down. Again, try to get your nose to me as best you can, but if you're like me, this is all I got. We're going to switch legs in two seconds. Here we go. Up. Cross over and back down. And then we're going to take a break after this because i got to flip the cue card page. <laughs> oh, he's in tight me. Uh, Ten more seconds. Oh, my hamstrings. Hamstrings are perpetually tight. Always a good time. Three, two, one. Ah, take a break. Get that chair if you got it. Um, apparently, I don't have my chair. <laughs> Stand by. All right. Now we're gonna do a couple more things. So, so we're gonna. Twist, so basically arm back against the wall, straight back, twisting the torso away from the wall, trying to keep the shoulder in contact so it may limit your range of motion on how far you turn. Just turn whatever's, uh, whatever feels good. Yeah, switch sides in two seconds. There we go. Oh, already 15 minutes in, really? Wow, that goes by faster than I thought. Keep that a little late. What else is new? Ah. So in 10 seconds, we're going to do a we're going to do a calf stretch against the wall, and we're going to bring the opposite knee in and swing it back and forward, gently, gently. There we go. So calf stretch. Bring this knee in and just slowly, with control, open up that hip a little bit. Switch legs in 10 seconds. Two, one. Other side, really work that calf. Oh, stretching, getting that hip open. Now oh, it feels nice. So I have my foot dorsiflex, my knee bent 90 degrees, and I'm just sort of shaking it back and forth gently. I've done this in plank position. So many things you can just change the angle on, do it a different way. If you can't get down on your back, you can do it against the wall. If you have trouble with your feet, you can go on the ground. I'm gonna grab my chair, okay? 
So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull, pull my arm across my chest and come forward. And let's do that. Let's start that now. So, so pulling across, trying to keep my torso uh, facing down as it goes out to the side. If you put it down, you get a little more of a stretch. Ugh, got allergies. Who else got allergies? Okay, switch sides in three, two, one. Here we go. this mat. It's like shards of leaf. I mean, that's possible. And dirt and paint flecks from from my weights. Alright, four seconds. We're going to sit up. Alright, now we're going to do a side stretch. Ooh. So when I write out these stretches, you know, they're only 30 seconds, so you need a lot of them to get through the half hour. And I always think I'm not going to have enough, or I'm going to have time left over, and I'm like, oh, you're supposed to practice at the end. No, I think we'll be just fine. All right, other side, here we go. Ooh. I feel like I can pull on the side of the chair and get an even bigger stretch, and we're going to reach through. So it's sort of interesting, I just want to try something different with the chair. Um, but a lot of moves are the same. That's, uh, you know, just how you choose to do them. All right, you're going to do tricep. So basically pat yourself on the back and pull your shoulder, your elbow back. We don't have a ton of seated exercises. I mean, obviously, arm exercises could have been done in the chair. And, uh, you know, if your feet need a break, and if you have PF or, uh, you know, you just injured yourself, other side, you know, you can always do a lot of these in the chair. It's amazing what you can do in the chair. Maybe your work hunched over your glowing screen. You know, just some of those standing ones where I have the arms clasped on my back, just, you can do that in your chair. Thinking about good posture, I'm looking down at the timer, but I should have my head up, shoulders down and back, make some space. All right, so now I'm going to cross one leg over, lean forward. Oh, yeah. Oh, my booty. We do that. We are nine twenty. We got ten minutes left. Do all the stretches. Ah, we're gonna switch sides in three, two, one. Here we go. Come up. Back down. Oh, so necessary. We got a booty workout coming up at nine forty-five. So this will be good. Gonna need it. This booty workout's gonna be. Ah. There's got some tough moves in there. So we'll see what happens. All right, so we're gonna get rid of the chair. So we're done with that. And then we're gonna go down. Take these 30 seconds. Okay. So. I'm going to go this way, but I'm going to go in a butterfly. So here we go. So lean forward. Oh, man, I am. I'm tight. This feels good. So we're going to hold it here, and then what we're going to do is we're going to keep this butterfly position and then lie backwards. I'm going to try this one, so we'll see how this feels. <sighs> Uh, 
Alright, now lean back. Oh, oh, oh just. I'm gonna rotate my hips under a little bit, get my back into the floor a little better. This actually is not really stretching me. Is this stretching you? Like I said, I'm, I'm, this is the one way I'm actually flexible. So, for me, it's just. Uh, Good night, everybody. Oh, nope. Okay, we're going to go in a frog. So have your legs going straight back. And then you can see what kind of split you can get here. And you just move forward and back. And obviously the stretch is going to go when you go back. Ooh, yeah. And then in five seconds, we're going to bring one knee forward. So we're going to go 90 and 90. Ooh. Wrap it up. Oh. oh. My hip does not like that. <laughs> it keeps cramping up. So if I'm sitting up and I've got one knee at 90 degrees and the other 90 degrees, we're going to swap sides a minute. Oh, thank goodness. So pivot is fine for me, but this is a uh, quite the challenge, especially when you try to rotate the hip forward. All right, so after this, we're going to go to my favorite pose, which is where we're starting out the leg pigeon. If you're not feeling up for pigeon, just stay in this. I'm going to go to the pigeon because I love this loop so much. So again, going into my more traditional moves. I just love this loop. I'm going to stay up for 30 seconds and then go down. Getting the hips loosened up. And we're going to go down. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we only have five minutes left. Just think about stretching, like uh, you get carried away with yourself, and then you're like, oh my gosh, I just spent an hour stretching. I used to do on the weekends before my, I would go to Ariel, I would do an hour stretch just to relax and get myself sort of warmed up. I don't know why I don't make time for that anymore. Three, two, one, let's switch legs. Oof. Ah. It's been interesting because, unlike a lot of people in lockdown, I feel like I just haven't had enough time to do anything. Like, I've been working on, you know, workouts and playlists and social media junk and videos and all this stuff, and it's like, where's the bigger? Where did it go? Like, it's a full-time job. I'm enjoying it, so it's fun, and I'm happy to be doing this, but uh, it is a lot of work, and I do wish I had more time today. So this is what it's like having a full-time job. Here we go, down. Remember to keep your hips rotated inward. Try to get this front leg parallel to, you know, your mat in front of you, or, or you should say, I don't know, my, my torso's here, my leg's here, as opposed to, like, down. And rotating that hip down into the ground is where the challenge is going to come. We'll just have some fun into the split real quick. Uh, straight back, lean forward. This is, these are my splits. <laughs> um, Saturday is going to be an interesting workout for a theme workout. It's going to be like the viral workout challenge. And I was looking up all these viral thing challenges, and one of them's like the clock, where you're like your foot goes each, you know, any. Flexibility challenge, I'm going to fail, but that's okay. All right, so let's go to, let's start the clock back up. So let's do lunging hip flexor. So pushing my hips forward, getting a nice stretch here. So you can do this with your knee up, but I'm doing it with my knee down. If, you're, if this is too hard on your knees, just 
Pela panica dela, aquilo não é? Yes. Switch legs. We're going to lie on our side and do a quad stretch. Slow down on our side, and then just bring the quad back on the top leg, really pull it, keep the knees in line. And this is pretty relaxing. I apologize, I'm not as uh, witty as normal. I uh, switch up. But I found with the clouds, it just oh, makes me sleepy. Also, I get stressed, it makes me sleepy, apparently. Two, one, let's swing it around. And then we're going to go into some sphinxy stuff. So, what we're going to do after this is we're going to flip over in our stomachs. We're going to have our hands together and our feet together. We're going to have our arms over, out, outstretched overhead. All right, so press your hands together, feet together, pressing up, and notice you're not, you're not doing too much. Shoulders on the back. All right, arms farther apart, a little closer. Feet are a little wider apart. So now I'm just getting a little bit of a stretch. And if you know me, you know what's coming next. On the next one, the hands are gonna go by the shoulders. Here we go, two, one. Ooh. We're going to keep your core engaged. Don't just let it hang out. Got to protect your back while you're doing this. Shoulders down and back. And this is pretty much as much as my spine wants to be flexible. I can work on it, but I haven't. It's not one of my big goals. Alright, what do we have next? Next we're going to downward dog. Oh. In the plank, come on, downward dog. So I like to get a good plank going. And then you want to get your tick, tuck your hips under a little bit and really try to drive those uh, heels towards the ground. I almost can make it. Shouldn't be that arms on your shoulders. Now what we're going to do is we're going to raise one leg. Bend the knee and rotate. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, balance. Oh, can I hold it? Got 10 more seconds. Whew. Three, two, one. Other side. Get to the big downward dog. Go. Oh. Ooh. I can do a little ankle roll if you want. You got ten more seconds. I'm gonna do a calf stretch. Oh, three, two, one. Come back down. Let's go into. Uh, let's have our knee into our chest. We're almost done. Go so fast. We'll just do a few more moves. 
We're going to stretch that glute again. So in five seconds, I'm going to rotate my knee out. Here we go. Bring the other knee up. Ooh, bring it towards you. It's basically the same exact stretch as when we were in the seat. Slightly different pull. So instead of stretching by bringing your torso to your knees, you stretch by bringing your hips. Five seconds and switch sides. There we go. Knee forward. Look at that transition. <sighs> this never really stretches for me. I know some people that very this could be a, a challenge. This one time it's not a challenge. Whew. Ah, oh, this feels nice. All right, rotate. Ooh. So what we're going to do next, we're going to do two more moves on each side. I think. No, I'm fit in there. We'll, we'll skip a uh, hamstring TFL. See, there's just not enough time. All right, let's conclude with child's pose. Coming down, trying to get your butt into your heels, pressing your hands down to the ground, get that shoulder stretch. So I hope you feel a little stretched out. Hope that was relaxing. A million ways to stretch. We'll try to try them all out. All right. Our half hour is up. It goes by so quickly. I'm so sad. If you're uh, doing booty work, I will see you in about 15, 10 or 15 minutes. Um, yeah, catch you in a minute. Thank you for joining me. Have a great day. Mwah. For showing up, you are that much stretched -er for being here. Yeah, I appreciate it. All right, take care. Bye.